hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nadisha one of the ways that god speaks to me is through songs and the song today is how you remind me by nickelback uh if you're here this message is about your kingdom spouse kingdom marriages um yeah if you watched the last video um and if that resonated with you then this video will resonate with you as well um yeah so this is gonna be about your God-ordained spouse counterfeit, okay? Clearly not all God-ordained spouse has a counterfeit, so you'll know if this message is for you. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this song came to me very early this morning. Um, I woke up and this was in my spirit. I looked it up and I'm like, all right, another, another song about the counterfeit. All right, so yeah, this on you know this is the direction that we're going in, and it seemed very important, very important. Um, all right, it says, "Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing. Tired of living like a blind man. I'm sick of sight without a sense of feeling." Okay, you know, so it's like it's saying, "Never made it as a wise man." I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing, you know, tired of living like a blind man. So, you know, it's almost like every, is like with your person, you know, your person just never ever felt like they had a lot going on for them. You know, they always felt like bottom of the barrel, if you may, you know, they never made it as a wise man. They probably went to college and college didn't work out for them. <laughs> They'll try a job and the job didn't work out. They try different careers and that didn't work out. Like they never felt like they things worked out for them. They never felt like they had much going on for them, you know? And every avenue they turned, it just didn't work, you know? Didn't make it as a wise man. Didn't cut it as a poor man stealing. <laughs> um, and you know what the poor man stealing reminds me of? I recently watched Aladdin. And if you knew anything about, if you know anything about Aladdin, Aladdin was called a street rat and he was very poor and that's how he got by. He got by by stealing, okay? And Aladdin was a movie that I felt like, I felt led, I felt God led me to watch. Um, and he also wanted me to watch Beauty and the Beast too, which I did. Um, so yeah, so tired of living like a blind man. So it's like tired of just being lost, tired of living in this world feeling lost. <laughs> you know, not having a vision, basically, you know, scripture says, you know, Proverbs 29 verse 18, it says, where there's a, where there's no vision, the people perish, listen, vision, that's, that's a whole nother video, vision is important, when you have no vision, it is going, you're going to act like you're blind, you're walking around blind, basically, you know, um, yeah, so, so yeah, tired of living like a blind man, you know, it says, and this is how you remind me, this is how you remind me of what I really am, this is how you remind me of what I really am, you know, so it's almost like the counterfeit is constantly reminding them, hey, you're nothing, you're a piece of, you know what, you are like directionless, you 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 have no ambition nothing you are nothing and it's like this is how they kind of remind them it's like they probably they kind of probably cuss them out you're worthless you're a nobody uh just just a lot of that you know um you're a loser you're nothing without me if it, i made you i was the one who made you if it wasn't for me you wouldn't be this you wouldn't have that you i, I said this last in my, i said this yesterday in my, in my in my last video it's like they made your first your person feel like if it wasn't for them they wouldn't have what they have and they wouldn't have been where they are you know and it says, this is how you remind me, by lashing out at me, by cussing me out, type of stuff, you know? Um, it's not like you to say sorry. I was waiting on a different story. This time, I'm mistaken for handing you a heart worth breaking, okay? So, like, if the counterfeit did anything wrong, they wouldn't apologize for it. 
they didn't think your person's worthy enough for an apology. You know, they kind of, they treat your person a lot. And mind you, I'm not picking sides here. I don't know the situation. I don't know the situation. I'm not picking sides. I'm not saying your person is perfect or didn't do things to um, anger uh, the counterfeit. But, but yeah, it's like... <laughs> If they did anything, they were not very apologetic about it, you know? And and this time, I'm mistaken for handing you a heart worth breaking, you know? So all this while, they were supposed to be handing their hearts to you. And they handed their hearts to the counterfeit. And that person just stomped all over that, broke that, break, just break them down, you know? Break them down uh, emotionally, you know? And I mentioned um, in a quick video, the enemy targets the spirit, you know, because if the enemy can break your spirit, everything falls apart, your spirit, you know. So, yeah, just break them down, basically. It says, and I've been wrong. I've been down, been to the bottom of every bottle. These five words in my head scream, are we having fun yet? <sighs> I've been wrong. I've been down, been to the bottom of every bottle. So, for some of you guys, your person has been drinking a lot. A lot. Like heavy, heavy liquor. Like heavy, heavy stuff, you know? And I wouldn't rule out drugs either. I wouldn't rule out self medicating. Um, none of that, you know? The thing is, alcohol is more accessible. <laughs> I would think, you know, um, yeah, you just, what do you need an ID, you know, to buy alcohol, you know, so you can get it anywhere, you know, so a lot of drinking to numb the pain, you know, um, yeah, it says been, been, been to the bottom of every bottle and these five words in my head scream, are we having fun yet? You know, when I hear this, are we having fun yet? It brought me back to like the Luther Vandross um, song that I did. And um, there was one line that said, um, we had a lot of fun, though we knew we were faking, okay? And it's, it's almost like when they decided to get into this relationship, they were like, we're going to have fun. We're going to have so much fun. It's going to be a blast. We're going to live our best life and we're going to do all this, you know. And so with this dysfunctional relationship, they're like, are we having fun yet? Are we having, is this fun? Is this you you coming at me and, and we, 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 um, we coming at each other? Are we having fun yet? This was the fun we talked about. Are we having fun yet? That's kind of what I'm getting, you know. Um, it's not like you it says it's not like you didn't know that I said I love you and I swear I still do and it must have been so bad because living with me must have darn near killed you you know um yeah you know what I think at some point the counterfeit just got really tired of your person I've said this before I've said this months 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 ago the tired like the counterfeit is probably just tired of them. Okay, they, they're both tired of each other. This was like a dysfunctional relationship from the beginning. Okay, like I don't know who they were fooling, but it was just dysfunctional from the beginning. It was a match made in hell. God was like, I wasn't a part of this. Don't mm -mm, that no, I did not ordain this. I was not part of it. You know, it's a match made in hell. You know, you put two people together and it's like, mm, you know, and they just, they weren't good together. You know, they were not good together. Um, and it just became very toxic and very dysfunctional, you know, and your, yeah, your person thought, oh, well, this, this, they were, they were probably thinking they would just make a life with this individual and it just it just didn't work and it's not going to work it's not going to work you know um god's choice is always the best choice you know and i'm like if people will really and i say that and i say that in every avenue of your life from where you live that house 
you want it to be God's choice. That car, he might, he will have an opinion on the car you drive, you know? The, the neighborhood is important. The school choice is important. The college that you want to go to is important. The state that you live in is important. Everything, his choice, his ways, his choice is the best choice. You know, scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You know? So, anyways. <sighs> Yeah, so like I said yesterday, you know, enough is enough. It ends tonight, and 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 with this with this song today, it's it's like it's basically a dysfunctional relationship coming to an end, you know, because they um they they couldn't make it work. It can't work. It can't work. So, all right, guys, <laughs> uh, take care. <laughs> Enjoy your night, and I'll see you in my next video.